Hello and welcome to the session. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss a question which says five cards are drawn successively with replacement from a well shuffled deck of 52 cards. What is the probability that all the five cards are spades? Only three cards are spades and none is a spade. Now we know that the trials of a random experiment are called Bernoulli trials. If they are finite in number, they are independent and each trial has exactly two outcomes, success or failure and the probability of success remains the same in each trial. Again, the probability of X successes is given by NCX into Q raised to power N minus X into P raised to power X where X is from 0 to N and Q is equal to 1 minus P. So this is a key idea behind our question. We will take the help of this key idea to solve the above question. So let's start the solution. Now according to the question, five cards are drawn successively with replacement from a well shuffled deck of 52 cards. Since cards are drawn with replacement, Number of trials is finite, that is 5. The trials are Bernoulli trials or we can say the drawing of cards with replacement are Bernoulli trials. Now we have to find the probability that all the five cards are spades. Only three cards are spades and none is a spade. Let x denote the number of spades. in the five cards drawn so x has a binomial distribution with n is equal to 5 and P which is a probability of success is equal to 13 over 52 because there are 13 spades in a deck of 52 cards. So P is equal to 1 over 4. Therefore Q which is given by 1 minus P is equal to 1 minus 1 over 4 and this is equal to 3 over 4. Now according to our key idea we have probability of x successes is equal to ncx into q raised to power n minus x into p raised to power x where x is from 0 to n and q is equal to 1 minus p. Now here we have n is equal to 5, p is equal to 1 over 4 and q is equal to 3 over 4. Therefore, probability of x successes 
is equal to 5cx into 3 over 4 raised to power 5 minus x into 1 over 4 raised to power x. Now, in part 1, we have to find the probability that all the 5 cards are spades. This means we have to find the probability of 5 successes and this is equal to 5c5 into 3 over 4 raised to power 5 minus 5 into 1 over 4 raised to power 5 and this is again equal to 1 into 3 over 4 raised to power 0 which is again 1 into 1 over 4 raised to power 5 which is 1 over 1024 and this is again equal to 1 over 1024. Hence the probability that all the 5 cards are spades is 1 over 1024. So this is the answer for part 1. Now in part 2 we have to find the probability that only 3 cards are spades. That is we have to find the probability of 3 successes. So this is equal to 5c3 into 3 over 4 raised to power 5 minus 3 into 1 over 4 raised to power 3. Now this is equal to 5c3 which is 5 factorial over 3 factorial into 2 factorial into 3 over 4 raised to power 2 which is 9 over 16 into 1 over 4 cube which is 1 over 64 and this is again equal to 10 into 9 over 16 into 1 over 64 which is equal to 90 over 1024 and this is again equal to 45 over 512. Hence the probability that only 3 cards are spades is 45 over 512. So this is the answer for part 2. Now in part 3 we have to find the probability that none is a spade. That is we have to find the probability of zero success. And this is equal to 5c0 into 3 over 4 raised to power 5 minus 0 into 1 over 4 raised to power 0. Now 5c0 is 1 and 3 over 4 raised to power 5 is 243 over 1024 and 1 over 4 raised to power 0 is 1. So this is equal to 1 into 243 over 1024 into 1 and this is again equal to 243 over 1024. Hence the probability that none of the card is a spade is 243 over 1024. So this is the answer for part 3. So this completes our session. I hope the solution is clear to you. Bye and have a nice day.